So this one, yeah, was the boy. The second track from the next team. The incoming. The way, you know? Say tell you the bird, and now you tell you the bird. Yo, what now you tell you the bird, and now you tell you the bird. And you tell you the bird. Well, what you know, and now you tell you the bird. No make it this thing, no drink, yo. So the bird, no make them words, me so lean, yo. I tell you the truth, and your roots, and culture. And if you go there, can them a vulture, me tell you the bird. No make it this thing, no drink, yo. Say the bird, no make them words, me so lean, yo. I tell you the truth, and your roots, and the culture. And overcome them. And them a vulture will watch at them Listen to the words of me asleep And they bring the way a bit Babylon must get defeat Youths are stuck by night the street And them a boy like them no seat But them get to the shop They don't bring them system the road leak Them baby life like me That's why I pay cheat them a cheat Me push them like a roach and on my feet Have them and the youths asleep In the street And the cool concrete So that's it But them let the guns a creep No no seat When me a tell you If I don't miss the system Introducing Ducing Devon Knox introducing Devon Knox introducing Devon Knox introducing Yo yo the bits flow like a white in the world, me no shot a vocabulary highlight, nigga nina na Flow get sick like I'm a with the bowler, so no bother with the baby thing, no push stroller The bits think it a catch bad order, right now me feet tough like the diddy bro, no but me just be get tougher like a box to under, just like a ball of your aim for score Now stop till me reach goal, man also lad and I go home, man run street and I pay the toller, so no bother count out, so me send me soul through Me give me that more than the bone, and me rebo white no cream like soda, feel like king, so me take the crown, man dark, so no bother with the solar Introducing Devon Knox How long? For me, the things I'm reach, the the initial, just a starting stage, just the the, the starting of the move. Because yes you know, you see a lot of improvement from my craft and move work on. And I know a lot of people don't really hear me as yet. But time is a master. Believe me. So eventually I'll hear about it. But right now, this is a work on the music and actually gathering the works to let go. Because you can't let go on and not have more to feed the people, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a journey, man. Because all of this start. Right, first of all, um, me personally, I start music professionally around, um, what is it, 20. Late 2013. Late 2013 start now was when I meet up with Devonax now and, and think. But eventually like from it leading up to them point because when we start music 2013 now and start professional, start record and everything, I never really I never really find myself yet so to speak then the overspread because it takes some time to really get the overspread because it takes some time to really go in a hope and see the direction where you need to take your thing. You know see? So I that really I, I that actually um it, it lead up to them time that from 2014 to practically around 2015 now for the journey like when we drop songs like them are wicked and speak your mind, do wear and them song. Like. So them I, I, I would say from 2014 to 2015 was when the real transition I really find in the cell and see which direction really work to get this. Yeah, currently to know where it at now. Yeah. Alright, so you say yes, um, 20, 2015 to now, we should, we should have it there. You find say you yeah, yeah, build more craft that you you want to put out that represent yourself? Yeah, you would have said that. Like, from, 20, from 2015 to now, as I said, we find directly like which direction. Mm. Like, which so which kind of music and what kind of music you want to put out to the people? Alright, my type of music though is that, is that um, self discovery. See, so you don't necessarily burn who you are, yes. burn where you're not. Yeah. So, it's just a natural thing, man. Just as the name conscious itself, mm -hmm. the lifestyle. Okay. That comes down to the lifestyle. So, the lifestyle now, we put that out in the music, how we live. Mm -hmm. You know, everywhere. Yeah. And as I said, the name, why inspired to that name? Alright, as I said before, the lifestyle. And that name, funnily doing you know, it, that name there, when I was a little girl, you know, I had an uncle, who used to call me conscious life from them time, like, when I was a little girl, and 
until this day, I never necessarily asked him why he called me that name. But, like, growing up and things, because me was a big youth. I mean, I go all in school, like, big youth. I didn't even have the name Sky Juice one. <laughs> if you know the Metro Media selector with the big belly, you know, so I was a little bit fat. Yeah, <laughs> man. They so used to call me Sky Juice and them tiny. But through high school now, and going on to high school now, I have a cousin, like, more like a brother. Slick me, he's cash him. Start calling me the name conscious because he hear my uncle calling me it and eventually people start to take on to it really. Name just we grow for you. We never necessarily have, even though they have their name there, but the full awareness of where yeah. they're all about and all of them things there. We never really fully living into it. But as I say, the transition came around like 2014. Because most of these things, you know, the spiritual manifestation where growing up, you, you might never would have seen yourself like in, on, in, on in, that road. On that road. Yes. Plus, it takes some time and you discover yourself and, and discover until you grow in, into, into yeah. the person so that, that is name, conscious. You know, we just work with that name and we realize it. Like, like from a lifestyle perspective, or just who we is. So we just say, right. Conscious, I just say things. Yes, I mean. Yes, I mean. Right, so, what inspired you? Well, you know, say, Devon Axe. Devon Axe, the name there, you know, I come from here, so. It had come from somewhere way back. Because, you listen, know, the name when I usually work with first was Dan One. A lot of the youths in front of Lakova, you know me as Dan One. Come here. I do high school, I do music from high school, from here to Lakova. So, I usually work with Dan One, so till me end up a change with Dan Deasy. Until it's like, I start thinking, come here, say, oh, the name, the name now work for me. But for me personally, it never really a kid. So it's like, bam. One day, one you would say, oh, you know what I'm saying? You're some them devil. And at the time, mutual friends are more like family, cashy, sleep with easy. Even now, my call me Nax. Mm -hmm. And because I usually call me Nax, I buy start grabbing to Nax. Yeah. So you have Deva, I'm a free back, I'm a Deva, Nax, Deva Nax. I am in. Yeah, man, it's free Just here. like that. Just like that. Yeah, man. And what, what has been your inspiration for music? Inspiration. Inspiration. You know what I say? The music, to me, is a soul thing. It has been meant to be. We couldn't outrun it. Um, I couldn't, we just couldn't run from it. I just thought I did me. I grew up as my brother, East Star, I did music, I, as a DJ, and I never preached say, you me with a DJ. So, seeing that, I actually took up it because Eternal, Eternal was the person who actually even influenced me. He was my biggest influence, he started dance and music. Because from, from 9th grade, me and him are DJ straight through the whole So. But that's the most of my inspiration you come from Etana. And you? Yeah, inspiration. It all come from... Because through high school now, like through high school, like my five years high school, nobody couldn't look for me and say, if somebody look for me and say, right, you know what say, you have to do music when you leave high school, I would, I would <laughs> laugh at them. <laughs> say, I not sure. that. Because if it was the music, my daddy or you take out the computer science or something. Yes. Because that was my skill era, computer science, Initially. well competent. But as I said, a lot of things come through spiritual manifestation where you might not aware of it or aware that you have this gift to a certain time or somebody identify it. Mm -hmm. So my friend now, I have a very close friend named Kevin at the time, where he see that like, if you know, we just hear a rhythm and we can put some melodies to it and come up with some hook, even if the lyrics them never point point them time there. But you know, he might him see it and him see from the time. You know, you know have a challenge, you need to work on it. And my mother know, ironically, like she was the first person, like she see that if me not watch TV none at all, or as long as something with music, they pan the TV, me I go watch TV. As long as it's something with music I play upon the radio, me I go into it with anything we have to do with music, me just always have interest in it. And she said to me like, why not just think up with somebody where I do music and do music? They wanna come forward as me said. You know what I mean? Them money inspire me all it. Cause my reflection of music would be with you know, Devon Ox, Tylen and Wax and all that other artists around the country because at them really see I do it. 
you know mm. I just saw it, the whole thing you know, so my inspiration and music really come from this it was just something where most people when we, we see my music now them is like they're looking at surprise because they've never seen this. Yeah. We never did a like say, a jar crowd in a high school at DJ. It wasn't like that. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. No. It just just like a thing you catch just on to. Grow. And, and you grow yeah. on you and you just grow in the You can't escape it again. Yeah, can't no matter how much I say, right, well, yeah. music just always This is, so this is so your chosen path. Okay, yes. chosen. Yeah. Many call in, but it's only the few yeah. that is chosen. Yeah. Yeah. I say, you mentioned computer science. so. Is that something that's still the outside of music? <coughs> what are your lives like outside of music? Alright, farming is a very important factor. Man. Because as a youth now, our parents we kinda engage with and um, like them would them would introduce us to farming from an early stage. When we younger and them kind of we never really like a hundred percent like it. But like growing up and growing up is the importance of it because I think the main and the first level of education is a man to teach a youth is to plant something. Like we don't plant nothing, we don't eat nothing. We don't plant something, so we don't eat it. You know what I'm So I took on the approach in there and decided, right. naturally, it come away with my love for me because as a person where my diet kind of changes up like certain things. You know, where you know, really eat certain things and you realize that certain things have psychological effect on you, you eat and yeah. how we are able to something. To the farming sector now, you know, say that the earth are feeding me then. Oh, yeah, because the good book, so called the Bible, says the earth is the Lord and the fullness there. I don't need nothing more than that. Because yeah, if I'm hungry, it's the earth feeding me. True, sure, man. You know, see? So, farming outside of music, we're still interested in computer time because we're interested in web designing and them kind of things there and even video editing, all of them things, you know. But, as I said, the music side of it take yeah. away all of them things yeah, because yeah. every time we try to do some outside like music always find it back like, like you, you get you back know. to that well, get after you've done everything that. else and you say alright no me who did a farm and a song come to me right now it when happens like that, that. So, mm -hmm. regular them things that happen so yeah mm -hmm. outside of music is do a bit practical like that alright so you outside of music well outside of music why Anything we involve art, because I guess art is just my thing. With a music, with a poetry, with a graphic design, with a painting, with a drawing, everything we involve them artistic line that others make. Any, anything creative. Anything we involve creative. Because even right now, me, well, me, most of the bartending mixages. So currently, I'm mixing this at Appleton Estate from Tours. Yeah, man, so we can come and actually take a tour. For real, man. Yeah, man. So anything we involve creativity, no matter yeah. where, whether vocal or hand wise, mm -hmm. just love the creative and some mistakes. So you creative. just put your That's your my, sauce on it. My Call sauce. It sauce. Yeah, you man. Just drip your it. sauce on anything, yeah, everything. Man. Right. All right. So who is Devanox and who is Conscious as as a brand? All right. Devonax Conscious. Alright, Devonax, what is it? Devonax is a brand now. Devonax is a person you, you just, you can unpredictable. I'm, very, I'm a very unpredictable person. And you might hear me sing something today, and then you hear me sing something totally different. You might hear me sing today, you might see me DJ tomorrow. You might hear me go real lyrical, you might hear me come back and take it easy. I'm just a person where it's a, I always give, give a surprise. So every song we look out from, from Devonox, it will be somewhere. Spark your mind. Just keep your thinking and keep your wonder what will come next. Uh, so, so you, you, you then say you're a controversial artist? Or, controversial. Or you, you, you touch on some controversial topics? You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm not going to say yes and I'm not going to say no. But any topic where I feel interesting to yes. me, be DJ about or about. sing about, I will do it. And I don't mean, I mean, I hard time to do it. Just once me, can I say something funny? Yeah, it will Yeah, well, so it will go. Yeah, as you say, um, you know, unpredictable. I think this is from your live a certain way and when you're really 
truly accept who you is and know that you is the only you because you see you be, you being yourself you have yes. put something there when not there before not because you is only you you are yeah. incomparable you incomparable see, our origin you only you so once you do that automatically you're different from everything you're yeah, shining in the darkness like the little bright light because it's different you know, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know so in everything so you just basically just be yourself just free above any kind of limitation to be your natural self and just be you you know what I mean? You're okay with that and with that, the lifestyle and everything within the music and it's all because it comes different because conscious, right? Mm -hmm. you no, know, first thing as a person hear that name you now, the majority practically I go think about okay, conscious so we are gonna only expect some song where I see more suffering and all of them things. Yeah. No, because at the end of the day I can tell you that as if it's an unbreakable you know, see, the, we, I mean, the music speak for itself yeah. because if me, I can tell you so now you talk yeah. right away as the wind is blowing now, mm -hmm. we get something right there. Yeah. Me never, me never plan for that, I never have that, but it just come and yeah. we just work with it. I'm going to work with it and put it out. Somebody else will get it really because it's a frequency, everything. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we and so this... So if, if everyone on, on the same wavelength would can get to that message, you know? Yeah. Because most people who, I, I, what I find, were even spark me and the, um, about me and interest in my type of music is very good. So you say you vibe with like everybody else in the music industry, even though you're doing that type of music? That type you. of music, because at the end of the day, you see, you know, um, Shaggy did an album a couple years ago and he said, out of many, one year. Mm-hmm. I personally, I thought you can out of many, one year. Yes, sir. I personally, because I I'm not going to sit here and get nothing changed from you. Mm -hmm. That's why I will sit here and tell you that I will directly put a title like my name that I am a reggae artist. Yes. Because mm -hmm. what I am speaking about, if I say, if you see if reggae is what I am speaking about, mm -hmm. then everything what I do will be reggae. Yes. But it's not like I set up myself to that because the, the, the type of production that we're on and everything is a different. In, in a world where we live today, where someone in Finland, Pakistan, Australia can just go in and type in my name conscious on YouTube and yes. find every single song that I've ever put out here from the very first one. I can't only one set of music. Because there are different really? sounds in the world. Yes. So we, as I say, it's the sound. And we have to but the message don't change. Okay. That's no, right. no change. So as you we were talking about many different artists, is there any specific artist that you guys look to and try to take something from their style and incorporate it into your brand? Alright, this is for me. Personally, I respect all of the ones who come before me. Like all right, wait, 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 wait. I, I, I would say that um, if there is, there are any artists out there that you see they are going, or you that are going in the same direction that they are going. Right now, yeah. Um, basically, Pagey. Pagey? Alright. Personally, and um, that's as, as, as far as from, from this generation, from or this generation, yeah, right. because he's from this. Generation. Him, him personally, I would see in that line, he would push him. You go in the direction that you would see yourself going towards, yeah. Sim okay, we have a similarity, so to speak. Then. You know, but you have a uniqueness <clears throat> in regards to yeah. All right, so well, um, for me. You see, as conscious said earlier, you just be yourself and you just put your units to the world. I thought I'm trying to one. But I always admire how certain artists do them things. Mm -hmm. But if I see them do that, I try to go the other way. Because I always want to be different. Uh, yes, you want to be different. So, <clears throat> if me, if me do, it, do a certain song, it sounds like that. Yeah. Alright, you understand me? I say it sounds like a dancer, it sounds like a reggae, it sounds like a this. Music and music for me, I don't really pinpoint myself and pinpoint that. So basically, you're doing things that you just like? I just have to do things with me like and with my, with my soul, I tell you. You see me? Mm. So if me first, like, don't beat down, I say, oh, I sang on a song, like it fit me. Yeah. Or I don't really 100% go with it, I don't say. 
anything anything when we sing or DJ, you have to dip on the peak of the level. Because every song has to be great for the customer. And the customer is the audience. And I am the product. True. Alright, so back to my question still. Is there any artist that out there? That they try to take something from yeah, their style and income. Like, like, for me, I respect the elder artists. Like, not that, when I say the artists, like artists who came from like four years before me. I, but my thing is, it's the artists who out there while the music, especially the foundation. You know, for, so, for example, Lang Lee, Tenasa, you know, Heine Kamosi. Dennis Brown, definitely Bob Marley, definitely people that's running away like as well. But I'm just saying like, those are some of the, because the message in the music from that time was it because they have job place, so I and I as carry on. That's it, in my way, to my consciousness that I'm giving to the world. So those are the set of people when I have a, a greater influence. But yeah, whole heap of different people I rise up. Because the, the revitaliz revitalization of reggae music now, and Jamaican music on a whole is evolving and it's growing with a whole heap of different names out there. You know, you have Chronic Rise, you have Protege, you have, you have so many of them here to call kids, Namdi. You know, you go up on the dance hall side, you have Cream, you know, the international, you have um, Bright of Future, come out like Dexter Dabs, you have. There's so much talent, so, Seven and Lila IK, and some names out there, Kelly Sack, you know what I mean? mean? And, it's, it's just a joy to see it and just knowing that to the future what's to come with artists like Miss Selma, that are here, Devon Axe, Conscious, yes. Sub Zero, PG, Tylin and Legion, and Fernando. So much name to call right now, mm. you know, from there, you know. It, it's a thing, man. It's just something to look forward to, yeah. on a whole. Can tell you. Alright, well, for me, the people who me really would have grew up are musically. Well, that, Conscious, cause conscious meet me as a slack artist. I'm always a very slack artist. <laughs> <laughs> but growing with conscious, Tylin and Eternal, Sub Zero, you know, me and Sub Zero would now as they see in place. But listen hard to them songs, they always push me to go harder. So at the end, we always keep the tempo on a high level there. So he says the competition that that that, that not a, not a sense not a competition. We don't want to call it a competition, Wait. but you need to do an evaluation for yourself. Because I didn't idea. Yes, you have a lot of artists. You have a lot of artists. Believe me, a lot. And a lot of them sing good songs. Not take that for them. But I didn't idea. Level away the music. They know higher than good. So if you now go higher than good, you now go recognize because everybody good. Yeah. Alright, so what's your favorite song from yourself up to date? Alright, up to date. Capuchino. Capuchino the number one. And two life too fast. When they are my top two songs. So you can find them up on YouTube and, and so. Not current right now. Actually, in progress and in working to release so that we can it work. Alright, good sir. Favorite song for me was a still like a bit I personally say, um, you have to be between them are wicked, up from slavery and let you know. And the reason being, what I find in this music, like, you see, even if a song now hit out there in the world, it hit, it hit, hit in the people's heart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Basically, from a, from a female side, yeah. I personally can say that you hit in a female yeah. heart. True. Because she will tell you that she loves that song there. And she yeah. wants to. Well, to I that song there. But damn, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see. You see. But yeah. yeah. Beat, man. Especially where you're putting it and to the type of beat again and yeah. big up first of all big up HP like big up that girl like yeah, man, big up the backbone to one's my music production HP like, the whole of us in T when and label like I never know for all music production so we can basically produce our own music but big up HP but the whole works mm -hmm. but as I was saying up from slavery that song most of the time people like you know 
saying because you know what I mean we just be, and because my music stems from that like especially the knowledge because I love good thought about the music when I do okay. a song it will stimulate the heavens you know what I mean where you each line of it, it you have your thinking keep your thinking yes yes right. so in each song I always put that in whatever song I do you can guarantee that this is a girl song it's gonna have a way of how I do it that you're gonna <laughs> that you're gonna keep say you, oh, well, show. you know I can tell you because we have a new single now which is premiering this month I think we should be on the lookout for it. It's called Break It Down. But that is something to really look for. Yeah, yeah, we're we're really as well. We're going to follow the ladies here. Yeah. Them are wicked. First song that had undergone, which did me very well. That song well, uh, was well, well produced to mix well proper and thing. You know, she big up the HP player back again. So, yeah. So I basically them three songs that I have to do first. Mm -hmm. So, um, what you have, what you have coming out right now, or like I said, in in the, in the future, new, new say other plans, future yeah, plans. Yeah, I have a, well, I have a term to drop an EP or LP, so to speak. It's, it's break it down with do and the first official chapter. I mean, other than that, is just out there with on platforms showcasing the crap to people because I am not a person who is curious about the first side. <coughs> It's just always getting better at the craft each day, practicing it, getting it perfect, getting it perfect. I'm just letting the people know, know, know about Contrast. Because we're everywhere, you know, from Facebook, it's K-O-N-C-H-U, Instagram, K-O-N-C-H-U, anywhere in the world. Because once they type in K-O-N-C-H-U, then I'm the only person who pronounce Contrast right. that way. <laughs> so you see, so you see you know. And definitely when you search for Instagram, Devonax music. Once you write in Devonax D A N O X, oh, okay. you'll definitely find Devonax. Same thing from Facebook. Most things but, on SoundCloud, so you just can Yeah, okay. I, yeah, check out Devonax on SoundCloud. Alright, so is there anything that we missed out that you guys would want to say? Mm. I spoke about the new era of talent that is coming out of Jamaica. What yeah, I would say, and especially saying things in this era of music and the future of generation to come. Talent and skills are what is going to run this. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I will tell everybody don't get lost too much in academic or education. Find what you love and live and love what you do. No matter what no matter where it be, yeah. no matter how simple as much as as much as you said, love. as much as you said the best work is played. Which means you do what you love, you won't work at the end of life because you love it. No matter Not how sure. tired you are you run on the football field and play ball. And you're not yeah, getting money, you enjoy that, that. But you love it. Mm -hmm. So the best work is play. So when you find what you love and do what you live, what you love. So this era of, of, of talent that I'm telling you about is not necessarily just musicians. You know, but it's an era of talent where they can graphically design things. Well, yeah. Great videographers, great um, people. media people, which is indulging the whole graphical side of it. Um, web designers, all of them people. Musicians, who play instruments, singers, songwriters, producers. producers. So we basically, it's not necessarily short of anything. I think the, the, the thing is, the sad truth about it, a lot of the industry players are going to fail out and the majority of young artists are just going to go independent. Because as soon as the publishing and distribution is there on the power side, you can see. Because all Jamaica need to is hear us. And once they hear us, if you even play us one time, one on the radio station, we don't really matter. Just make the people in here and then, then we we'll see there. Because the people in here, we know that. Mm -hmm. The energy is real, I will see it. So each time like we we'll perform, and we'll be, like, people hear we and see it, we we'll always see the job as them people. So we know the power and we should use it. Yeah, man. We're confident tonight. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just like high school, we are through high school, me, eternal, big guy, nemesis, we are just jack out from the school, tiny and you know that. So if you can do that at schools without no help, the Sandico boombox are going to be a DJ. <laughs> that must be, we must know say oh, when time we leave out of that, things have to take off. Because once talent is away, you can't hide. And once you do good, I yeah, good, 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 do good music. I can't buy fast. True one. All right, so that's it for the interview. Yeah.